In today's video, we look at Google Keep and how you can utilize it to plan and structure your lessons better. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Now, the first thing I'd like you all to do is open up Google Keep. Now, you can do this by simply typing in keep.google.com or you go to the Apps Launcher and you look for Google Keep. Now, Google Keep is an integrated part of all of the G Suite apps. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to create a separate note for each of the lessons we're teaching and we're going to use them to really organize and plan our lessons better. Now, the second thing I'd like you to do is open up another tab and we're going to go to Canva. Now, Canva, as I've discussed in a previous video, which you can find in the top corner right now, is a brilliant piece of software that you can use to create beautiful graphics. Now, what we are going to use for our lesson designs are some social graphics. So go ahead and click on this social graphic template. There we go. And we are going to now put some information onto this template. Now, again, don't spend too much time tweaking everything. Simply think of your lessons. And also remember, you only have to do this once. And once everything is set up, you have your keep ready to start planning and organizing your lessons. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is maths. Now, this will be a little image for my maths. Now, I'm going to choose a style. Here we go. I'll choose this style. Now, I'm obviously not going to keep this image, but I am going to say, there we go. Lesson plan, maths. I'm going to obviously make this a little bit smaller so that we can easily read everything on this line. And then we're also going to add the time. Now, let's say that I teach maths from eight in the morning till nine. There we go. Now, this image, we're obviously going to change the background image. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to remove some of these watermarks. We are also going to remove all the other icons and there we go we're going to leave it with this color now what i really like about canva is that you can click on download and get a png file now we've just downloaded this file now i have a maths.png i'm going to do the same thing for my next lesson which let's say is english and again simply tweak the font size so it fits now let's say that this is 9 to 10 so let's change this from 9 to 10 Let's also change the color. Now I'm going to change this to blue. I'm going to do the same with my background. I'm going to change that to a dark blue. And here you can say change all yellow to blue. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Very easy to use. Change the file name to English. And again, click on download. Now, if you are not needing to keep these files on Canva, then you can simply go through your different lessons and change the file name before downloading it. So you are simply downloading a new version of the same file. Let's say that we just use maths and English for now. We're going to go back to our Google Keep. And our first note, instead of typing anything, we are going to select the add image. Now add image is going to bring me to my image browser and I'm going to go to my downloaded images and I'm going to find maths. Now maths is right here. I'm going to upload this file. And there we go. I can now do the same with my second node. Again, click on add image, search for the English file and upload the note. And there we go. Now, as you can see, because of the way Google Keep neatly layers each card next to each other, I have a nice overview of all my different lessons. I can now share these. If you are collaborating or co-teaching with anyone, you can simply share this with your co-teacher. You can also change the color scheme to actually match the colors that you have chosen. And you can go in and you can start tweaking this. So let's go ahead and open up maths. Now I can add my lesson title here and then I can start typing I can start typing some of the lesson objectives now I can add some tick boxes to this so let's go ahead and show the tick boxes there we go objectives and then I start typing my objectives objective one objective two etc etc very powerful way 
of doing your lesson plans in the cloud using Google Keep and it all syncs to your mobile devices. Use Canva, use Keep and make everything look professional. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear how you use Google Keep in your classroom and for your planning. And let's just share and exchange ideas. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, do whatever you want, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.